Honorable Criminal Division is now in session. The Honorable Judge Arnie Patusa proceeding. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will truly listen to this case and render a true verdict and a fair sentence as today's defendant? I do. Please be seated. Members of the jury, your duty today will be to determine whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty. Based on the facts and evidence provided in this case, the prosecution must prove that a crime was committed and that the defendant is the person who committed the crime. However, if you are not satisfied of the defendant guilty to that extent, then reasonable doubt exists and the defendant must be found guilty. Ms. Gilidin Patosa, what is today's case? Your Honor, today's case is People of the Philippines v. Larong Illuin. Is the prosecution is ready? Yes, Your Honor. Is the defense ready? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, members of the jury, my name is Revelyn Alorza and my co-counsel and I, representing people of the Philippines v. Larong Illuin. We intend to prove that on the day of February 19, 2021, he should carry a gun without a license. And the next day, Larong Illuin was arrested by Patroman Rodan Kabantak outside of his property at the same he had carried a gun without a license. Trying to escape and fire Patroman Kabantak and these documents contain proof that the fingerprint obtained from the gun is the same as, the, as that of the defendant. The evidence I present will prove to you that the defendant is the guilty as charged. Your Honor, members of the jury, my name is Sergeant Armishona, ladies and gentlemen, members of the jury. The law, my client is presumed innocent until proven guilty. During this trial, you will hear no real evidence against my client. You will come to know the truth, that Laro has no guns, it's all just lies, therefore my client is not guilty. Prosecution, you may call now your first witness. Thank you, Your Honor. I will call John Navarius. Mr. Espinita, please raise your right hand. 
Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Mr. Spilita, did you see Mr. Eugene Ilarong with a gun during February 19, 2021? No, Your Honor. At the time Mr. Ilarong was arrested, did you witness and see that he had a gun based on what Patrolman Kamantak said? Yes, Your Honor. But with the Patrolman arrested Ilarong, he was not wearing any gloves. And it's not true that he had a gun. Thank you, Your Honor. No further questions and no witness, Your Honor. You miss it, Doug. Both the prosecution and the defense have now rested their cases. The attorney will now present their final arguments. Prosecution, you may begin. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, in this trial, the defendant was caught with a gun. All the evidence matches according to the forensic examiner and, doc and document that I hold the defendant should be punished for violating the law and that also according to the witness who represent at the time arrested in time of use is done. Let me sit down. Defense, you may proceed with your closing argument. Thank you, Your Honor. Members of the jury, today you have heard testimony about people of the Philippines versus Larong Ilyurin. All the allegations against the defendants are all lies. It is just defamations against him. Remember that under the law, my client is presumed to be innocent. The prosecution must prove every part of his, his case beyond reasonable doubt. That means that you must be very sure. And all the evidence was planted. The, the prosecution has presented no real evidence to you to show that this is, this, it's not true. That means there is a reasonable doubt and therefore you must find him not guilty. People of the Philippines versus Larong Ilyurin, the court is fine. The accused is guilty. Oh. You have slain an enemy. Please rise. The jury is thanked and excused. Court is adjourned. Parang neneng diyang kiyak, 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 kiyak,